Hi there guys, Trainer Talk UK here. Um today I'm gonna be making a video on how to cop the Dragon Ball Z and Adidas, the Professors and the Gohan D Ups. Um I'm just starting off by saying I know I didn't make a how to cop for the mentors, uh, these right here, but they were sneakers and off white exclusive which basically meant like there was just no chance of getting them. I mean all you could do was enter the draw and you know for manual users it's no great it's not good but if you did cop well done um, how many accounts did you use leave it down below if you want to know how you could go about copying go and have a look at um, some of my previous videos but nothing more than like two weeks ago because it will be outdated but yeah these are exclusive to Nike very low chance of copying off I had them too and as you can see they sold out I mean I think they dropped at like um, nine o'clock maybe and basically I heard that there was seven pairs of uh, UK9 and they all got cancelled so they might be redropping so keep an eye on it that's just what I heard I'm not sure if it's true or not but either way um, copying these was a very 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 low chance I mean no suppliers got them other than Nike and Off-White for future, you know, off white drops and Nike drops, I recommend just entering a cut group. Um, I'm gonna make a video on exactly what a cut group is, but if you know what it is, um, then that's great. But essentially, they just post links as to when stock goes live on websites, and I think that's like the best way to cop at the moment for manual users. But anyway, with that out the way. Let's move on to uh, copying these Dragon Ball and Adidas trainers. Okay then guys, so if you just head over to the Adidas website and type in the search Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z, you'll see this page with the, um, I think the young ones are actually going to restock. I hope not because I've got a pair and I really like them and I want them to stay limited. But you know, if they do restock then that's what it is. But here we can see the d rupts one of um, these are the Gohan shoes. Um, if we just take a look at the shoe, I mean, the materials on the young one and the Goku ones, the ZX, whatever, are really, really high quality. And just having a look at this, these materials look pretty good too. Um, I mean, it looks like a really, really comfy shoe, but in my opinion, <laughs> these are ugly. Like, I would never wear these. But they are Dragon Ball, it will attract a few people. Maybe you guys think you know they're really nice. Obviously, it's all subjective. But anyway, that's what we've got going on there. And over here, we've got the Cell Pro Fairs. Again, I think these are pretty dead. Um, when they were being previewed before they had like this, even this side, it's pretty nice. I think, like, I would, I would cop these, but it's just like this side of it here, like, what. It just ruins it for me, like, half, like, this bit's purple and the rest of it's green. I mean, yeah, I'm not, I just don't really rate these. But anyway, I think these are the nicer out of the two. And it's basically just how we copy these. That's exactly how we're going to go about copying these. So, basically, what you want to do is the multiple people jig. And to do that, it's very simple. First of all, you're going to want to download Google Chrome. Then, in the top right, you should see like a picture or your name it might be. And basically, you just want to hit that and this little menu will come down. You can see it here. It says person. To you guys, it just says person four times. To me, it just says person one, two, three. And they're the other users I've created. All you have to do to create one is go down to manage people then you will get this you go to add person and then you add it whatever and basically the benefit of this let me just get this out of the way the benefit of adding multiple users is that you have your own cookies and basically when you are entering the uh, waiting room and stuff adidas tracks you from your cookie so if you have different cookies you're all right um there's rumours that they're starting to use IP addresses too, so use like five um, five accounts 
per IP address. So other ways to do accounts is like get another hotspot on your phone and connect your computer to that and another phone in your computer to that and so on. Um, that's how we can beat that but essentially there'll be a waiting room and excuse me through the waiting room you'll just wait there you'll enter all your chrome users into it um of course this is set to go live on october the 26th um so that's all you want to do there is just head into this waiting room with all your users and eventually you will get access the more users the more chance now with the goku and freeze pairs they were extremely limited like the freeze pairs are like 300 in the EU or something ridiculous like that, but um, I'll just show you them now. A lot of people thought they were pretty dead, but you know, I kind of I, I did like them quite a lot. I do like the young one overall, I just really like the young one. And you know, Frieza, I actually used to watch Dragon Ball, so Frieza's like my favorite villain as well. But anyway, I really like these shoes, I think they're pretty wearable. Like white and purple it's easy to match so yeah I liked these easy cop um, I actually got them by queuing up outside offspring Um, so and the offspring I think in all the different cities it wasn't just London that got them so be on the lookout for that as well in store releases I would say that offspring in Manchester and London definitely will not Guaranteed London, yeah, but I would say I'm 95% sure that the sell and go hard will be dropping in Manchester as well. I'm not really so much sure about Birmingham. I know the hip store in Leeds got the freezer and Goku's in store, so keep an eye out for them too. And obviously there'll be a bunch of raffles too. Um, I think because the release date's still a little bit away, they won't all be open, but you can expect the usual retailers like and... Um, but that's like a guaranteed L, but end, um, SVD, uh, Soulbox will be doing an online drop, same thing there, we just want to use a multiple people jig on that, um, Foot Patrol, they do in-store raffles and online releases, expected to drop there too, um, there'll be a bunch of sites, um, doing these, but of course stock will be low. Um, I don't have any numbers to hand, but expect them to be low. But the demand isn't quite there because um, a lot of people don't seem to be rating these for whatever reason. I mean, yeah, they could have made them better looking, but this is Adidas and Dragon Ball. Like, Dragon Ball is like one of the most watched shows ever. Like, I don't understand why there's not like a lot of demand, but regardless, they'll be easy to get. Um. In terms of resell, I'm not too sure. I'd probably say the sell profiles will do better, but just buy for personal. I'm gonna say if you're very lucky, you might get fifty quid. Like if you're trying to make money out of this release, just offer a proxy service. Just say you know, um, I know how to cop on Adidas. Give us thirty quid, and I'll get you a pair. Or I'm outside the hip store in Leeds. Um. I'm guaranteed a pair, there's like two people in front of me, um, I can proxy pairs, pay me the money, you know, stuff like that, that's how you're going to make money on these, because, you know, after they've dropped, I think they'll brick and you'll be losing money, maybe even drop underneath retail, and if they don't, you'll be stuck with them because there's so little demand. Um, that's it for this drop, guys, again, I do apologise for not getting there video on how to cop the 97s but I didn't really think it was necessary I mean um, it was literally just the sneakers draw and very few people ate off that that's why I think resale's pretty high right now I've seen like 600 quid or something so yeah that is very high especially for a non-OG colorway but let me know your thoughts on that do you rate the 97s did you pick them up and do you rate these Adidas and Dragon Ball or not I'll be coming out with another video pretty soon on the aftermath of the 97s, cut groups, sneakers and whatever. <clears throat> and we're probably going to be taking at some upcoming taking a look at some upcoming sneaker releases too. So look out for that. And another thing I want to mention is that I have created an Instagram account 
for the community so that I can post pictures or whatever or get in contact with you guys pretty easily. And it's literally just called Trainer Talk UK. That's it. It's a, a non private account with three followers and following seven. There's three photos of three trainers I've had. I want to start, you know, try and show you guys my collection. It's not too big at the moment. I'm hoping to grow it. And of course, drop any information I can that's, you know, important and needs to get out quick enough for before I can make a video. But that's it for now, guys. Follow the Insta. Like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.